In lesson 11, we're going to learn the right way to build a form using Form Design View. This is a preview of a lesson that I normally used to cover in level two. We'll learn about creating a blank new form, setting the record source, adding existing fields from the table to the form, resizing objects, your labels and your text boxes, and changing colors. Okay, this lesson is new for beginner level one. I used to cover this stuff in beginner level two, but I said to myself, self, I don't often use layout view. I almost never use it. So I'm gonna teach these people from the beginning the right way to build a form. I wanna show some people, like I said, that aren't planning on doing much with access, just how to get in there and build a quick form. That's what layout view is for. That's what we covered in the last lesson. But today, in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to use design view to build forms properly. Now, I've been working with Microsoft Access since version 2.0 came out in 1994. So this was the only method available at the time, and this, I think, is the best method for building forms. It's a little more complicated, but stick with it. I'm going to repeat this a couple more times. I am going to still spend a lot of time in level two going over form design because designing forms is very important for your databases. All right, so this is consider this like a, a sneak preview, a short version of what I'm going to cover more of in level two. So let's build a form the right way, our customer form. All right, so create form design. Now, when you do this, you get a blank form. The first thing we have to do is tell the form where you're getting your data from because a form can get its data from a table and we may have multiple tables in here or a query. And again, we could have multiple queries in here. So open up the forms properties. Now, where these two ruler bars meet, right in this corner there, there's a little block. See that little block right there? Double click on that guy. That'll open up this property sheet. Okay, I'm gonna resize it just a little bit. Doesn't have to be that big. Okay, now on the all tab, the top property is called record source. Set the record source property to the customer T. That's saying this form is going to get its data from the customer table. Okay, that's all you have to do in the property sheet. So close the property sheet now. Now we're going to add fields to our form. All right, so on the design tab, over here in the tools section, find add existing fields. Click on that, that opens up this thing called a field list. All right, since the form knows it's getting its data from the customer table, you see the fields that exist in that customer table. All you have to do is click and drag these fields off of the field list onto your form. Watch this, click and drag and drop, and that's it. When you drop the field, you get a text box and a label. All right, remember that from the last lesson. So when you get the next field, like first name, click, drag, line it up with the text box underneath there and drop it there. All right, see that? Now, if these don't drop exactly where you want them, you can click and drag to move them around. Make sure you leave room for your label because if you go too far, it'll squish your label up there. So you don't want to put it right up against the edge. All right, click and drag. All right, you could drag either one, the label or the text box. Get them right up next to each other just like that. Okay, you can resize these guys by clicking on them. Then you see the little border around there. All right, if you move to the corner or the edges, you see the little double arrows. You can click and drag and resize the labels or you can click and drag and resize the text boxes. All right, the customer ID doesn't have to be that big so I can make that smaller. All right, first name can be a little bit bigger. See that? All right, ready to get last name? Click, drag, drop. Usually I like to drop it and then I'll, I'll move it over here and get it in position and then resize it like that. Okay, you can change your labels like we did in the last class. Click, all right, and just hit the space bar, last name, right? Customer, space, ID, that kind of stuff. These are just labels, they're just for display. Okay, now you can move them all individually if you want to. But if you want to move a block of them, let's say you want address, city, state, zip, and country all together. Click on the first one, hold down the shift key, click on the last one. That selects that whole block. All right, now click and drag that whole block and drop it there. See that? Now I realize I forgot company name, so click, drag, and drop company name. See? You may decide you don't want company name. 
All right, delete on the keyboard. Just delete it, just like that. See? Slide address over here. All right, address can be bigger. You may decide you want city, state, and zip all on the same line. All right, so slide city over there like that. City can be about yay big. Now I want state next to it. So I'm going to delete the label for state. Click on the label, hit delete. See that? If you delete a text box, the label is also deleted. But you can delete just the label, and it leaves the text box behind. Now I can move state up here like that, resize it, and then zip next to it, see? And you can make these exactly as big or as small as you want. And then country can go underneath that, like so. Okay, resize country. Now these are just slightly off. See that? These go out to about there. These don't. So I'm going to select all of these. Watch this. Click and drag a box that just touches those. Now I've got address, zip, and country selected. I can now resize all of them together. See that? Watch that right there. See? And there's all kinds of layout tricks I'm going to show you over the next couple of classes. All right, city. Come in here. Click. All right. Go comma, state, comma, zip. Just like that. City, state, zip. And the label. Okay. All right. Let's save this form where we're at right now. Control S, save. Let's call this customer F. All right. There it is. I'm going to close it and then reopen it. Okay. Look, I got all this empty space in here. All right. Let's get rid of that and make it just this big. So how do I do that? Well, right click on the toolbar right here and go to, excuse me, that's the title bar. Right click on the title bar. The toolbar is this guy up top here, the quick access toolbar. All right, design view. Now come out here where the edge is. See that edge? Click and drag. That's the actual width of the form. That's what this ruler dictates up top there. And I'm going to scroll down and find the bottom of it and slide that up. See that? Slide it up just like that. Make it fit exactly how big you want it to be to fit these fields. All right, now save it, close it, and then reopen it. See? You can have just the information on here that you want. You don't have to have all the information. In level two, we'll build a nice, big, pretty customer form. All right, just like this one I showed you before, this guy here. Very similar. Okay? Again, this is just a quick preview. All right, back to design view. Right-click, design view. Let's add a little bit of color. All right, click on the background of the form. Come up top to Format, and here you can change the background color of the form. Let's go light purple, like that. There you go. Or maybe light blue. Light blue looks better, like that. I like to stick to the standard colors. We're going to talk about theme colors and standard colors in a future class, but I like to stick to the standard colors because the theme colors can change if the user changes the theme. All right, that's a pro. It could also be a con. It could change. It can make your database look like you don't want it to look if someone changes your theme. All right, you can also change the label colors. Now I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to come right up here in the in the ruler bar, click and drag. That's going to select all of them. See what I did right there? And now I'm going to change the foreground color to black, so they're more easily red. And one more thing I like to do, since the customer ID is an auto number and it can't be changed, I like to make that gray background like that. That just visually signals the user, hey, you can't change that. All right, save it, close it, open it back up again, and there we go. Look at that. It's already starting to look really cool. Okay, now this is just, like I said, this is just a sneak preview. We're going to spend a lot of time in level two going over form design. Most of level two is form design. I'm going to show you lots more tricks on how to make this look professional. But over the past, I don't know how many years, I've been saying to myself, you know, level one, I really should show them at least the basics of how to use form design because I don't really use layout view myself at all. There's a couple of tricks that I do with layout view, but that's it. 99% of the time when I'm working with forms, I'm in design view. So I figured I got to show the beginners that. We're going to do more with this in level two, and we're going to be building lots and lots of different kinds of forms. Contact form, order form, order details form, products forms, all kinds of different forms over the course of the course. All right? So I hope you learned something there.